Hi, how are you? Uh, my name is Ada Galindo. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys the formula for G uh, major scale, or how to play the G in a proper way according to the monks. Okay, so it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. Okay? G is the root or part of the triad. Okay? A is the second. It's the second. B is the third. Part of the triad. C is a perfect. Four. D is perfect fifth. Part of the triad. E is the sixth. And it's the relative. Minor. G is the seventh. And I mean F sharp is the seventh. And G is the root. So we have G, which is the root, A, which is the second, B, which is the third part of the triad, C is the perfect fourth, D is the perfect fifth part of the triad, E is the sixth or the relative minor, F sharp is the seventh, or G is the root. Okay? For, it's based on the formula whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Okay? Now, now it's very important to know whether you're playing a major key or a minor key because, as you may know, there's major keys and minor keys. For this one, the formula for the major, the formula for the major key is major, which is the root, minor, 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 I mean major, major, minor, Seventh and major. Okay, which is minor, major, minor, minor, major, mi major, minor, seventh and major. And you write it with M, which is m minor, minor, major, major, minor, seventh and root. So you would read G, A minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, F sharp, 7th, and G. And this is how you would read it in a musical sheet or whatnot. Remember, G is the root, A minor is the second, B is the third or part of the triad, C is the perfect fourth, D is the perfect fifth part of the triad, E is the sixth or the relative minor, F is the seventh, and G is the root again. Remember, the formula for it is whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. And the major keys, the major keys are major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, seventh, and major. The seventh, some people substitute it for a minor, but I, for one, would like to keep it as a seventh because that is the proper way to learn. And this is how you would write it. See, the relative minor for G is at, it's E, which is another topic for another class. But remember, the relative minor, the triad, is G, B, and D. 
So if you try playing a song with G, B, and D, it'll sound perfect together. Remember the strumming, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or however you please to play it, whichever way is probably right. Um, relative minor, and G being the root, okay? Um, well, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Remember, my name is Ada Galindo, and I'm here learning to teach you guys, and we'll learn together. Thank you.